in this lecture we will discuss the e-commerce and its types so before i am going to discuss with you the presentation i'll share with you some summary of the need of e-commerce that, that why we need e-commerce actually for doing business online so basically electronic commerce means doing business online and can be conducted between consumers and businesses or among businesses with no consumer involvement two primary types of consumer oriented e-commerce activities are online shopping and online banking and finance businesses have been conducting transaction electronically for years but the advent of internet technologies has made the process easier and accessible to more businesses businesses uses many networking technologies to support e-commerce but intranets and extranets make e-commerce easier by utilizing internet technologies an intranet is a corporate network that works like the internet but belongs exclusively to an organization an extranet is an intra intranet that allows access by some authorized external users usually through the internet and telecomputers are workers who work somewhere besides a company location such as from home they re rely on computers and internet technologies to access the company's network resource this is how we can do business online instead of for previous brick and mortar system we can without having any physical business sites and location and address they can run their business online via from their homes as well and security that is an important aspect of e-commerce and enhanced security measures have contributed to the explosion of e-commerce transaction in recent years consumers can take steps to make sure that are using secure web pages when doing business online so this is actually the main reason why we are discussing e-commerce that e-commerce with the help of e-commerce we can run e businesses so e commerce is a part of e business electronic business that is online business and what are the main important features we what are required these are the important features i have discussed in the summary that we want to make them them secure our online businesses make them easily available and accessible for more number of people and businesses and so on now i will discuss one by one with you the slides i have so first of all what is e-commerce so as i have discussed with you that first you must know that what is commerce commerce is actually exchange of goods and services and now after putting e before commerce it becomes electronic commerce that is that exchange of goods and services via an electronic equipment so e-commerce also known as an electronic commerce or internet commerce refer to the buying and selling of goods or services using the internet and the transfer of money and data to execute these transactions e-commerce is often used to refer to the sale of physical products online but it can also describe any kind of commercial transaction that is facilitated through the internet sometimes we uh, online service services you can render for, uh, through online like educational online uh, courses online education you can receive so sometimes you get facilitation instead of product through online businesses through internet whereas e business refer to all aspects of operating an online business e commerce refers specifically to the transaction of goods and services only exchange that is exchange of goods and services so we can say that e commerce is a small part of e business is a one is a subset of e business what is e commerce e commerce act of doing business transaction over the internet or similar or similar technologies has existed for years via private network electronic fund transfer eft 
now most often performed via via internet dot com an internet only store with no physical presence brick and mortar store a conventional store with a physical presence so this is different between the e businesses and the businesses m commerce that is e commerce carried out via phones other and other mobile devices which you can take anywhere and those devices are in mobility that is m commerce history of e commerce the history of e commerce begins with the first very ever online sale on the august 11 1994 a man sold a cd by the band sting to his friend through his website net market an american retail platform this is the first example of a consumer purchasing a product from a business through the world wide web or e-commerce that as it is exchange of goods and services as we commonly known it today since then e-commerce has evolved to make products easier to discover and purchase through online retailers and marketplaces independent freelancers small businesses and large corporation have all benefited fitted from e-commerce which enables them to sell their goods and services at a scale that was not possible with traditional offline retail so this is the benefit global retail e-commerce sales are projected to reach 27 trillion dollar by 2020 this was the but as we have a pandemic still this was the uh, forecasting that in this year that is 2020 it reaches global retail e-commerce sales and projected to reach 27 trillion and you know that in this pandemic the online purchases and the online uh, services and the online educational system the everything online has grow grow more than the normal days types of e-commerce models there are four main types of e-commerce models that can be described almost every transaction that take place between consumer and businesses so one is business to consumer that is most formal that is business is making something and consumer is availing or purchasing that from business to consumer from business to business sometimes then we have for example from business to business one uh, Uh, a software on a uh, software uh, uh, cms or lms learning management system software company is designing a campus management system or learning management system and the and another business that is educational institute which is running a, a business of education an educational uh, academia business they are running so they are purchasing from business to business in order to facilitate their consumers that are their students then consumer to business uh, consumer to business is another type of uh, e-commerce model where uh, you can say a consumer for example a person who is using a software that is photoshop and he is actually the consumer of that particular product but he is now skilled enough that he can help out on the freelance market to any business who needs to get some photos edited so he is a consumer but he is a skilled consumer so he can help out any businessman in order to uh, render in order to edit those photos and and get some money against them or sometimes consumer to business and consumer to business we have some more examples for example you uh, how consumer to business mo model uh, or how it works for example i am a consumer i have stayed in a hotel in a specific hotel in turkey visit and now i am giving a good feedbacks for the marketing of the hotel as a blogger so that other people can get attracted towards those hotel services and 
they have more num they can they can get more number of benefits in the form of tourists so if i'm going to write down any feedbacks and that feedbacks are of paid feedbacks so in this way since i am a consumer but i am helping out the business against some uh, amount i am giving the good feedbacks against those hotels for their marketing then consumer to consumer obviously you have seen olx and other that some i i want i am selling my car so that i can buy a new one so i am a consumer of i'm and i want to sell out my pre old car and i want to buy a new one so there is olx or any different other marketplaces available which help out to sell consumer to consumer exchange business e-commerce models where we can perform transaction from one consumer to other consumer so business to consumer when a business sells a good or service to an individual consumer eg you buy a pair of shoes from an online retailer nike mackays ikea and netflix are all examples of companies that engage in business to they are selling directly to the consumer to business to consumer e-commerce market what is the example of business to business when a business sells a good or services to another business eg a business sells a software as a service for other business to use any any type of software for educational purpose as you are the student so you know campus management system or the learning management system for the universities designed by a businessman and purchased by a business man so that they can deliver their students smooth lecture online lectures they can conduct online classes or any other software a company is purchasing in order to uh, uh, maintain the database of their employees and in order to perform a uh, different or uh, forecasting and decisions making for their companies and they can they want to design long term strategies and policies by using these smart softwares so again business to business transaction slack a platform for communication between remote businesses and xerox a cloud based accounting software for businesses a example of b2b companies that is a cloud based accounting software for the businesses so that they can perform their business transactions and they can smoothly peach tree any other different any other software which helps which they have purchased from a business for their business for, to get the benefits consumer to business now when a consumer sells their own products or services to a business or organization an influencer offers exposure to their online audience in exchange for a fee or a photographer licenses their photo for a business to use freelancer a freelance platform that connects remote workers and companies is an remote workers and companies in is an example of company that brings two parties to engage in consumer to business transactions <laughs> consumer to consumer this is as i have discussed olx and ebay and different when a consumer sells a good or services to another consumer e.g you sell your old furniture on ebay to another consumer so ebay and Craigslist are example of online marketplace where individual buy and sell products to each other. Examples of e-commerce: e-commerce can take one on a variety of forms involving different transactional relationship between the business and the consumers, as well as different objects being exchanged as part of these transactions. For example, retail. sample of e-commerce retail the sale of a product by a business directly to consumer without any intermediary retail directly what is wholesale wholesale the sale of products in bulk often to retailer 
then they then do those retailers are going to sell them directly to their consumers then this is the example of e-commerce variant forms of involving different transactional relationship drop shipping the sale of a product which is manufactured and shipped to the consumer by a third party drop shipping then fourth one is crowdfunding the collection of money from consumer in advance of a product being available in order to raise the startup capital necessary to bring it into the market so you have to uh, pay first so that they can make you those products for you and they can deliver to you so collection of money from consumer in advance advance payment crowdfunding subscription the automatic reoccurring purchase of a product or services on a regular basis until the subscriber chooses to cancel so this is the uh, this is how subscription works that automatically recurring purchases recurring purchase of a product or a service on a regular basis until the subscriber chooses to cancel the subscribe unsubscribe or cancel the subscription physical products any tangible goods that requires inventory to be replenished and order to be physically shipped to the consumer as sales are made so this is how physical products are comes under the examples of e-commerce digital products downloadable digital goods templates and courses or media that must be purchased on consumption or the licensed for use so online educational system online ppts online books digital products services a skill or set of skills provided in exchange of compensation the services the service providers time can be purchased for a fee free for a fee again some specific fee a service providers time can be purchased so for example online business guidance strategies develop online strategies develop Are available online. Software solutions are available. In a similar way, on lawyer services rendered via online media, educational services provide rendered. So fee again some edu uh, educational or any other online services. So these are. the different types of e-commerce any e types of e-commerce activities